All right, so welcome to the podium interviews. Oh, well, only one podium interview e, uh, here with us. We have James with us. Hello, James. How are you? I'm very good. How are you guys? Well, there was three of us commentating and uh, recorded video, so it's going to be fun to try and edit this all together. Um, but yes, it, that seemed like a very difficult race for you because it went, it sort of seesawed very heavily, didn't it? Um, yeah, well, I mean, I haven't had any practice today anyway. I've been um, with my friend most of the day, so I narrowly made the start of the race. Felt really good around quality, um, but then in the race, I had to pace there. I just was very inconsistent. Um, when the tyres started to get worn, um, on the first stint I really struggled on the softs, um, off the line. Then the hards, I just sort of got in dirty air and they just lost all of their grip completely. And then towards the end of the, the second soft run I had, um, I just lost it completely. The, I think my back tyres were on like 76% or something. And I just had no grip left. I'd worn them literally down to nothing. Well, nonetheless, you battled hard, but you had more battles with Alco than you did with anyone else. Yeah, it was very difficult because he kept trying to dive it down into turn one. And it wasn't doing my tyres any favours. So I was like, if I can get away from him, you know then it'll be better for me, but unfortunately I lost the back end on the worn softs and sort of clipped him and I think he hit the wall and got wing damage, which um, is not a way really to get second place, but very unfortunate, but nothing I could have really done there. Um, I got a bit too throttle hungry and just lost it. Well, I'm now going to open it up to either of my co-commenters to see if you have any questions for the Red Bull driver who finished in second place. Yeah, seemed like a difficult race uh, in general, didn't it? It was uh, carbon fiber everywhere for everyone. And, and, uh... <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I did, I don't, I'm not sure that I had a question. I just wanted to run it by you. <laughs> yeah, it was very difficult um that track's always difficult um because it's so tight and then with the grip levels as well it just didn't help but you would lose sort of grip in some parts of the track and then in the others you would just have un like amazing amounts of grip coming out of corners so it varies really mm -hmm. any questions and, uh and James? then uh uh, one one last uh, one thing from me. Um, next week we're in. Uh, do you like next? Do you like uh, Spain next week? I am. Um, uh, hopefully, I can win there. Um, maybe take lead in the championship. But Spain's a very weird one because some days it rains, some days it doesn't. So hopefully, if it doesn't rain, then hopefully. Um, I can come away with a win, but it's always going to be hard when you've got the likes of uh, DCG and Racing Podge, you know, um, on your tail. You're not really allowed to make any mistakes, because the minute you do, they're just going to get past you. And then they're both very quick, so you've got to work twice as hard to catch them up and get past them again. So hopefully I can just win without any mistakes. Well... No, but that's as you are the only podium sitter to join us. Well done on P2. Uh, the other podium sitters were, in fact, uh, Pro Oliver on the last lap who lost his front wing. A brilliant way to end uh, his race. And uh, our winner was DCG, his car. Well, Perez's car, but his car is on uh, on screen right now. Uh, thank you for joining us, James. You're now free to go have a drink. Uh, repair that front wing as you get ready for Spain this week. See you, mate. Okay, gentlemen, as I've reigned over your parade by seeing your commentary session, um, how was that race for you guys? Well, to be fair, uh, I think YouTube stole our commentary session. Yeah. I mean, in fairness. Uh, but yeah, just uh, James, what did you think of that race? 
Uh, I was ex- um, from what I've gathered from other things, I expect it to be a quite calm race, but of really it was carnage from lap one to the end. Uh, it it was it, it reminded me more of as as we would keep saying Formula E than actual Formula One. And it reminds me of back in the day, I think it was like 2017. But yeah, um, it was great racing. It was carnage. Uh, it really it had everything, I'd say. So, like a good, a good ra- uh, I wouldn't say it was a, the, a brilliant race, but I would say for anyone who likes lots of crashes and lots of carnage, then it was a really, really good race. Yes, it was. Fabster, anything you'd like to add? Uh, yeah, no, I, I enjoyed the race. It was... Uh... I think there was some kind of contact on every lap, wasn't there? Mm. I think, yeah, it really was. Uh, it did seem that way, didn't it? Yeah, we'll see. Um, I'm racing well, tomorrow, so uh, we'll see how that goes. Yeah, I'll try I'm to have a bit less Wimpen contact now. than, uh, than uh, yes. these guys. Should be fun. Well, what's happening next for SFR? Next for SFR is GP3. That's tomorrow night. I'll be hopefully live streaming the event. Um, but if not, we'll be back on the post race recording. So hello to the future again. Uh, thank you to James and to Festa for joining us on this uh, quite mad GP3 event, uh, GP4 event. Sorry. Yeah, thank you. Thank That's you. Fun. That's fun. Yeah, it and was we good. Will. Thanks. And we will see you next time in SFR. My name is Jamie. Thank you so much for watching this uh, this post post upload. Uh, well, post-race upload, and I will see you next time for another race on SFR. Cheerio, guys!